On Las Vegas stages just like this, you'll find spectacular singers, dazzling dancers, and awe-inspiring feats. But it's those little extras that can transform an evening's entertainment into an eye-popping, memorable performance. Let's go backstage and find out how props and costumes can take some Las Vegas shows from dynamic to dynamite. Combining the art of ventriloquism with singing impressions, superstar Terry Vader and his puppet co-stars effortlessly perform the singing styles of an eclectic group of celebrities, including Elvis, Garth Brooks and Justin Timberlake. Terry, it's so wonderful to finally meet you. I am a big fan and I watched America's Got Talent in 2007 when you won. And it's just so wonderful to see you now here in Las Vegas at the Mirage, doing your show and sharing all of the fun and joy that you do on stage every night. What is the hardest part about ventriloquism? I think in order to be one of the truly great ventriloquists, there is something um, physiological about a person that, that you, I guess you have to have a certain shaped mouth. Now, how I can do what I do, I have no idea. I'm just glad I can. But there yes. is technique to it. I put the tip of my tongue against the back of my front teeth, okay? Now, I do that for M, P, and B. Hello, boys. How do I look tonight? Who is your favorite character? Sentimentally, my favorite character is without a doubt Walter T. Airedale, the cowboy. And the reason is, I was 15 years old. I had decided I wanted to be one of the great ventriloquists. I told my mom this, and my mom started saving money because she wanted to buy me my first professional ventriloquist puppet. And she saved for three years, and on my 18th birthday, she gave me Walter. I'm looking out here at this crowd, and I seen me some women's. Okay, so this has taken you a very long time to learn, but do you think somebody like me could actually pick it up? You want a little lesson? Absolutely. <laughs> Where do I start? Okay, you don't want your puppet to be uh, levitating, okay? So you always, unless you have a little stand or a place for him to sit or her to sit. So you're talking, the puppet looks at you. When I'm talking, the puppet looks at me or looks at Winston or whoever. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice, that was really nice. <laughs> What's an easy sentence that we can do? Uh, uh, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Very good. That was good. Thank you. I didn't even see your mouth move. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's good. Your mouth moved, yours didn't. This has been so much fun. You truly are an incredible ventriloquist, and to meet all of your friends is just so incredible. And if you guys would love to come down and see Terry and all his friends, he's here at the Mirage every night at 7.30.